This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at how to make the blend shader the default material in Maya instead of Lambert. Customizing the default material can save you time, so let's get into it. Okay, so as far as I know, Lambert 1 is hard-coded to be the default material, and there's no way to change that in the interface. But what we can do is use our old friend, the user setup file, to modify this. So what's annoying for some people is they want to create primitives, and as they create those primitives, the Lambert 1 material is getting applied to them, no matter what they do, make a sphere, whatever. And some people, including myself, want to have Blin or a different material because it's easier to see the details when you're modeling stuff with the specular highlight. If you're not familiar with the user setup file, I've got a whole video about it on the channel, and you can find a link for that in the top right corner of your screen right now. All right, I'm just gonna bring the script editor into view here so we can all look at it. So basically I've got a little custom script here and that script says basically make a blend shader and then switch the connection with Lambert one to the blend shader. And it's in a script job. And what that does is the script job runs every time a new scene is open. So basically anytime you make a new scene or Maya starts, it's going to override the Lambert one and plug in the blin. But to the end user, this is gonna be invisible and then you're just gonna have the blin be the default material. And like I mentioned before, if you wanna learn more about this stuff and the user setup file and how it all works, I have an in-depth tutorial on that already on the channel. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy all of this code here and I'm going to paste that into a text document on my other monitor. Okay, great. And now I'm going to close Maya, close this guy down. Okay, gone. Okay, and now I'm going to open this folder, which is users, your username, documents, Maya, 2020 prefs scripts. And inside of that folder, you want to create a file called user capital setup dot mel. It's not there already. And we're going to open that file. Okay, so I've opened the user setup.mel file in my text editor of choice, which is Notepad++. You'll see I've got a bunch of other junk in here from the other video and stuff that I use on a daily basis. Yours is probably empty, so you can just ignore all of that. Here, I'm just going to put a couple carriage returns in here, and then where was our thing from before? Oh, right, so here's our code from inside of Maya from the script editor. So copy that, and we're just going to paste that at the top there. Sure, good enough. Okay, save, and then close the file down. Okay, and then I'm just going to go to Programs and launch Maya again. Wait for that to load. Okay, it's loaded. I'm just going to open the hypershade and you can already see in the hypershade it's created a blin one which is not there by default so i'm pretty sure the script is working but let's test it out so let's make a cube scale that up and rotate it and you can see yep there you can see so blin one is applied let's make a sphere there you can already see turn off the wireframe there you can see the blin one is applied to any new object i make so it's now the default material for the scene and lambert one will just be ignored and then as we mentioned before if i go ahead and i make a new scene the new scene will automatically run that script job and apply blin one as the default material so i can continue on making stuff and it's going to have that as the default material so anything that would normally go to lambert is now going to go to the blin so pretty cool save some time now, if we wanted the default material to actually be the uh, Arnold AI standard or Maya standard surface, whatever it is, we can do that too. And that's actually even an easier script to write. So I'm just going to bring this over here again. So you can see here, whoops, you can see here because the standard surface already exists in every Maya scene and the Lambert already exists, we don't even need to make a standard surface. So this is actually a simpler script. So all you have to do is run this little line here, which is connecting the surface shader of the Lambert to the, or sorry, the initial to the uh, standard surface or whatever. So we can copy this stuff as well, paste that into our user setup file, save that, go back to Maya, Close this, close that, whoops, I don't know why that happened. Close this, don't save. Okay, go back into programs, launch Maya. Okay, Maya's open. Let's create some geometry here. Yeah, and you can already see, you can tell by it's so dark that it's got the standard surface applied because for whatever reason, they decided to put a super dark default color. Maybe just so you can tell the difference between the two, I'm not sure. So if we open up the hypershade here, let's go over here. You can see, let's select what's applied. 
Oops, I turned off the wireframe stuff there. So you can see Lambert 1 isn't applied to anything. We'll just graph the up and downstream. You can see the standard surface is now the default material. And if I make a new scene like that, make a sphere, you also get the standard surface. So that's it. Enjoy those modifications if that's something you want to do to your Maya. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have an incredible day.